And um, I want to start off today actually with a warm up question. So we'll do this in the chat. And just to kind of get rolling on some of the ideas that we'll talk about today, suppose that you're stargazing on a clear night, maybe not in Eugene where it's cloudy. Um, what are some differences that you might notice between different stars or other objects in the sky? So just take a minute, think about this question, type your response into the chat and don't hit send yet. I'll tell you when to hit send. All right, so lots of um, commonalities in our answers here. Uh, we would notice what stars are bright. We would notice what stars are dim, uh, possibly whether they're kind of twinkling or not twinkling, their colors. Um, maybe we would be able to pick out specific objects other than stars in a telescope and, and be able to tell what they are, uh, see more details in those things. And maybe we'd actually see how some of those objects move through the sky as well, if we're able to observe over a long enough time. So definitely, these are all things that we notice. Um, and everything that we talk about here, everything that we learn about the universe in general comes from our study of light. So when we look at the night sky and behold the stars and the other objects in the sky, we notice how bright they are and what color they are. And this information is all we have to go on to find out everything else that we want to know about those things. So if we want to know how hot a star is, what its mass is, its size, um, its motion in the sky, we have to be able to uh, detect light and analyze what we detect there and, and pull out all of these uh, pieces of information from that data. So that's what we're going to be focusing on for the next few weeks. Here's our plan kind of just to give you a general overview. Um, this week we're going to focus on the brightness of stars today and then the colors of stars on Wednesday. Um, during week three, we have no class on Monday. So we're going to talk about the spectra of stars, meaning how much light they put out at different colors next Wednesday. And then uh, during week four, we'll wrap up this idea of analyzing starlight, looking at things like the mass of stars, uh, their radius and their motion. Uh, and then we'll also talk about the sun that week. So. Um, this is a little bit of a different reading schedule than I had posted initially, uh, but this should be the finalized version of our schedule. So if you've you know, printed out or something before, uh, you might want to uh, do that again or make sure that you've just updated. These are the only few weeks that have changed. And I also wanna give you a heads up because for week four Wednesday, that's actually two chapters. It's gonna be a big reading uh, day. And so I wanna give you plenty of notice for that. All right, cool. So that's the general outline. And specifically today, we'll talk about the nature of light. So talk about light as we understand it as a both a particle and a wave. Um, speaking of the wave properties of light, we'll talk about their uh, a light waves wavelength, frequency, and speed. And then we'll move on to what we can start to learn about stars from their brightness. So how do we measure brightness? Um, what is the difference between brightness and luminosity? How are they related via the inverse square law? And what does that mean? And then how do we measure brightnesses quantitatively using the magnitude scale? And then we'll end up with a um, application of all of this to the Cepheid variable stars and see how these um, ideas can actually be used 